me and my mom went on my last spring break trip ever, which is kind of sad, but it was an amazing last spring break trip. Really, like, went out with a bang. <laughs> but um, me and my mom went to Los Angeles for five days, and we had the absolute most amazing time, and I wanted to share that with you guys. The next day we woke up super early because I had us booked for a soul cycle class. We're up bright and early today because we're going to a soul cycle class and it's probably gonna kick our ass, so we will update you guys after the fact when we're all gross and sweaty. My ass looks kicked now. <laughs> <laughs> Same honestly. Now I was so pumped about this Soul Cycle class because I just really thought that I was going to love it and I did. I absolutely loved it. Me and my mom both. I wasn't really expecting her to like it as much as she did but um, it definitely kicked our ass but we felt pretty good afterwards and we're going to look into a cycling class closer to our house because we don't have any like Soul Cycles near us. Not only were you on this bike cycling upright mind you you were like up on the bike and you were cycling and you were almost dancing along to the music blaring there's an instructor who's in front of you in the middle of the class with like a spotlight on them and you dance the music where you like you know you go like this and like this and it's all synchronized with the entire class and then at one point you get weights that are on the side of your bike and you're like doing stuff with the weights, going to the music and cycling at the same time and it was just like, it was insane. I, everyone was drenched in sweat, <laughs> but like that's how good of a workout it was. The funny thing was though, at the end of it, it's a 45 minute class, but when it was over I looked over my mom and I was like, oh, is, is there a break? Because I swear to God it felt like the class was 10 minutes long, but we actually had been cycling for 45 minutes. Okay, how do you feel about your first soul cycle class? That was hard. You know, I didn't think it was like that hard. I told her I felt like it was only 15 minutes when it was actually 45 minutes, but I was still sweating. Like my entire body was sweaty. I don't sweaty. mind sweating, like hot yoga sweating, but there, I felt like I couldn't. Yeah, like stand up on the yeah. bike, you said. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was really fun. I would recommend it, and I kind of wish there was one, like, by my house, because I probably would go a lot more often than I thought this one. But my face is really red and gross. <laughs> After we were done cycling, we went to a place called Backyard Bowls and got some acai bowls. They were so good. <music> then we went back to our hotel and took a nap because... We'd woken up so early and we were just exhausted. So we went back and showered, took a nap, relaxed for a bit. Then we headed out to UCLA. I have no interest in going to UCLA. Obviously, they don't have any graduate programs, which is what my next step is. But um, it was just cool to see the campus and how it was all set up. actually and kind of what I had expected like it was just, I don't know it was just what I was envisioning there's like tons of greenery and tons of beautiful places outside to sit and there's a bunch of planted trees and the buildings were huge the canvas itself was just huge in general but still enclosed which I like if that makes sense <music> We didn't actually go inside the art museum because we were going to a museum later in the trip, but we just took pictures by the infamous light pools because they're free. You don't have to pay to take pictures by them. <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Dang it. There's the 
light holes right there. Ooh, what are those weird elevator things? Monica Pier, which was pretty cool. We ended up riding the Ferris wheel. It was pretty cold that night, so we didn't get to like lay out on the beach or anything, but we did walk the beach and got some pictures by the lifeguard stand, which you weren't technically supposed to stand on it, but like, I'm a rebel, what can I say? Yeah. Where's how you get down the go? I don't even think they're running any of these rides. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is kind of scary. Um, yeah. Whoa. I feel like I'm gonna fall. I know, I'm like, I need to put this away. Then we ate at a Mexican place on the pier that night. And the guy really wanted us to get margaritas on the rocks because we both asked for frozen. And he kept saying like, no, like more tequila in the on the rocks. And I was like, I don't care. Like I want the frozen one, but he kept pushing. But I ended up getting the frozen one. But my mom, he, she cracked under the peer pressure. <laughs> This here. guy really wanted me to get my margarita on the rocks, but I did not cave into peer pressure. The next day was Disneyland, which oh my god, I was so excited for this because I'm a huge Disney fanatic, and I had never been to Disneyland before. The only thing was is that since we were only going to be there for a day, we had to choose either or park because we figured if we got a hopper for one day, there was no way we'd be able to do everything in both parks to its full justice, so we just picked one. We ended up going with California Adventure because Disneyland has most of the same rides as Disney World. It's pretty much set up as Magic Kingdom is, like an identical replica, but just smaller. So we went to California Adventure. We went on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. It was freaking awesome. If you guys didn't know, it used to be the Tower of Terror there, and they transformed it into Guardians of the Galaxy. It was so much fun. We ended up riding it twice. That's how much fun we had on it. We were also there for the food and wine festival and my mom spent $50 on this little package thing. <coughs> Why is this popcorn line so long? This is Hollywood Street. I'm getting a video of it. Whoa, 
that looks kind of sick. <laughs> It was called the Sip and Savor Pass, and you basically had eight little tickets. And you got to pick anything on the list of this little menu for the stand. And I was so mad that she got it at first because I thought it was a ripoff. And like, when I say I was mad, I was mad. And I don't understand why I got so angry, but like, for the next hour after that, I just could not stop, like, thinking about this stupid pass that she bought and I just was like pissed off <laughs> but I mean I guess it ended up working out we were keeping a running tab of like how much each item cost and like I think pretty much we broke even maybe saved like five dollars but it wasn't anything amazing of a deal but the food was pretty good and we did get to try a bunch of different things and partake in the food and wine festival which was kind of cool because you know, it's not there all the time Did you take a picture of our berry thing? Okay, because we're going to show them at the end what we got for $50. Okay. She bought this. Then $400 bought this. on celery and carrot sticks with ranch dressing. She bought this food. Because they were shaped like Mickey ears. <laughs> All I'm saying is she's, she's not a smart consumer, right? We went to Cars Land, which was awesome it was an exact replica of radiator springs like the amount of detail that was in that area was insane ride the Radiator Springs Racers because that's like the big ride there. It used to be test track but then they transformed it into this and it was broken down when we first got to Cars Land so we ended up riding Luigi's Rockin' um, Roadsters and then we went over to that line and said it was an 80 minute wait. It ended up being close to three hours. I'm not even kidding you that's the longest I've ever waited in a line. But I mean like it was miserable to wait three hours but it was kind of funny because we ended up making friends with the family in front of us and behind us towards the end because what they were doing was i think since it was closed for so long in the morning they had to accommodate all those people that had fast passes for those earlier times so they kept letting so many fast pass people in and they would let like 40 fast pass they would let like 40 fast pass people in and then they would let one party of the single riders in. That could be a party of one, a party of two, or a party of 20. So <laughs> once we got up to the front, since we made friends with the two families, we were like, okay, we're all gonna say we're part of the same party. So when we got up there, we were like, oh yeah, like we're all, we're all in the same party, even though we clearly weren't. The ride was pretty fun, but like I, I couldn't fully enjoy it because I was a little annoyed that we had waited that long when they said it was gonna be an 80 minute wait. some more food from the food and wine festival these were my favorite things that we got they were salt and vinegar parmesan crusted chicken wings i absolutely love them then we went over to pixar pier we rode the incredicoaster there toy story mania incredicoaster i really enjoyed that was my favorite ride there and then guardians of the galaxy was my second favorite
Then we got more food. This was an asparagus chicken Caesar salad. This was my mom's favorite thing that we got. We rode the big Ferris wheel, which it was actually really terrifying. Because we got in one of the carts that swung. So it, we were like on some type of track. And then once you got up to a certain height, your cart literally swung out like this and back and forth. But from where you're sitting, it looks like you're swinging out into nothing. So it's actually pretty terrifying. And the first time that we had swung out there, we screamed. And the girls that were in our cart too screamed as well. And it was just funny because we were like genuinely terrified for the first time that it happened. I got the creamy Oikos yogurt cheesecake, which I have a picture of. The next day we had reservations at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Damn it! Missed my opportunity. <laughs> Let me see, Mom. I saw Rob Lowe. But did you ask to get a picture? No, I froze. It was just him and me on the red carpet. <laughs> oh my god. Then we went to Grand Central Market. It's a bunch of little food vendors. We weren't expecting it to look like this. We were expecting like actual food stands, like tents almost outside, but it was actually really nice in here. 